Hey everyone, it's Mike at Review Nootropics and I talk personal development. Um, I've been using Lion's Mane for about six years of which the past three years, I've been consistently taking it two to three times per day. Here's the form that I like best though. This is the eight to one. I will see if I can put a link in the description box below of the type in which I like. And this is really potent stuff. Come think of the eight to one like it's just much more potent. If you do get the root, then the dosage can be completely different. But overall, something like 300 milligrams three times a day, even 500 milligrams twice a day seems to be effective for most people. And it's such that with lion's mane, fortunately, if you do take it close to bed, you won't find that it will negatively affect your sleep. It won't cause you to stay up. Because again, lion's mane is not really stimulating from my experience anyway. Something you can expect from taking lion's mane is not only is your social anxiety completely gone, but you have a lot of courage to want to engage into interactions and you really have this improved ability to build rapport with people. It's easy to want to kind of get into their zone, get into their feelings, kind of take your personal agenda of the conversation out of the equation, listen to the person, ask them more about their answers and come from a compassionate space. Lion's Mane, you're just very genuinely curious about people and it makes it such that you're able to build like a lasting connection. You can really embrace the fact that there is truly something to learn from everybody. Now, taking a look at some of the health benefits, number one, we have that it could help protect against dementia. Secondly, it could help relieve mild symptoms of anxiety and depression. It may speed recovery from nervous system injuries. As everyone knows, um, injuries to the brain or the spinal cord, they can be devastating. So what so is lion's mane has been proven to actually help decrease inflammation following a stroke-related brain injury. Lion's mane can reduce heart disease risk to manage diabetes symptoms. They found that lion's mane extract actually reduced blood sugar. When it comes to fighting anxiety, there are nootropics which can really help aside from lion's mane. Things like uh, Bacopa Minieri, not only does it help with anxiety but with memory as well. Things like Ashwagandha, also known as the king of herbs because of its incredible effects with helping you to stay calm and stay present. And as well with Aniracetam. Aniracetam is such that it's very good specifically for social anxiety. But what I find with lion's mane is it really does bring up your mood so significantly that when I'm consistently taking lion's mane and I take it out of my nootropic stack, it's like my baseline mood just drops. <laughs> and especially for somebody that works hard like myself, you really need something to help you offset some of that stress because stress is a good thing, it's not a bad thing. When I'm using lion's mane, what so is at the end of the day, I finish the day feeling very fulfilled, very excited for the following day, feeling good about what's taking place in the day. I'm really counting all my victories and feeling proud about my losses because Failure is essentially feedback, and that's what Lion's Mane allows you to do. You, you become very present, you become somewhat unattached to the outcome, and I can't find a nootropic that can help me in a similar way because there's nootropics which can help you kind of go internal, keep you calm, but they aren't that good in keeping you persistent, ambitious, and really moving forward towards your goals. There are a number of nootropics that can help you to calm down and be relaxed. Things like L-theanine, again, ashwagandha, bacopa minieri, but they don't have that effect on still allowing you to be ambitious. It's almost as such that when you take other nootropics to calm you down, they can demotivate you to some extent. And you suddenly have this really nice ability to delay gratification. So especially if you're somebody who's an investor that needs to think long-term, needs to think with a lot of depth, needs to gather a lot of information and have really good analytical skills and at the same time have good social skills, Wow, lion's mane is like no other. You're able to become a better thinker because you're less anxious, you're more in the moment, yet at the same time, you're able to execute. You'll find that with lion's mane, your decision making is really on point. And whether you're a student, whether you're an entrepreneur, you're an investor that's maybe retired, I think it kind of fits everyone. It's a nootropic almost similar to fish oil that you'd be comfortable kind of advising your friends and family to take. Not that I'm recommending you take it, I recommend you speak to your GP before introducing anything to your stack. Like I have found with other nootropic mushrooms such as cordyceps, chaga, shalajit, even reishi, that they can have this effect on uh, increasing your heart rate. Not to the point that it's too uncomfortable, but it is what's so, there's like a physiological difference. With lion's mane, I don't experience any of that, yet it still may have uh, workout benefits because I'm beginning to see lion's mane infused into a lot of pre-workout blends, which are very popular. So lion's mane, lots of benefits, although I will admit it does take a bit of time to start working. I didn't really notice lion's mane was working at the very beginning. And that's the reason why I take it three times a day versus a lot of people are just take it, taking it once a day or taking it twice a day. I find that there's this nice mood boost which you experience and a little bit of focus increase when you initially take it. So that lasts for two to three hours. 
but more so after two weeks, once it's somewhat saturated in your system, that's when you get all the benefits. Like speaking of being more present, better social skills, being more calm, having a better relationship with not only work, but with your personal life, you really are just able to see the brighter side of things. And it's like a, almost like a natural antidepressant. Be aware of anything that can improve your mood because many times they can cause an up, but then a down effect after or some sort of crash. But with lion's mane, no, it's like the opposite. This is like very different than caffeine because caffeine, you feel uneasy, you feel like jitters. Lion's mane, no, it's energizing. You feel like your normal self. Because I remember even when I was studying and for a particular of course, I absolutely dreaded the material, but I started using Lion's Mane. Life, quite honestly, becomes a little bit more interesting and you don't have to fake an interest in things as much. So really because of that, it's a little bit difficult to pinpoint what my favorite benefit is from Lion's Mane because it does so much. But overall, like I'm in a much better mood. A lot of people maybe not seeing the same benefits with Lion's Mane that I'm getting. Or maybe for somebody that works behind a desk, it's not as important for you to be social and interact with people. Maybe you're just looking for getting an analytical edge. And then some other nootropics may serve you better. Things like perhaps Nupep, things like maybe taking the adaptogens like ashwagandha or rhodiola rosea. They'll really help you to fight fatigue. Uh, one particular nootropic blend that I really like called Qualia Mind, and I've linked a 15% discount code below. They've actually intentionally not input Lion's Mane in the blend, it seems like, because what so is... This is a product which is all about execution and that's what Quaily Mine is good for. It's good for essentially being like a good well-oiled machine for what, three, four, five hours. Now, all things being considered though, Lion's Mane is great because it can really fit like any nootropic stack given that it won't really cause bad interactions with most nootropics is it's not gonna elevate your heart rate too significantly, won't make you overly uncomfortable. It's relatively healthy, it's not man-made. This is somewhat naturally occurring. Now, if you were to ask about other side effects with Lion's Mane, one which comes to mind is a drop of libido. Some people do actually report that they feel a drop of sexual interest when they're taking Lion's Mane. Fortunately, that hasn't been my experience whatsoever. If that's something which you do come across, then perhaps you can look into taking some natural testosterone boosters to help offset that. Um, I've actually made a list of my top five nootropics for building testosterone levels, which I can link in this video over here. You may find that helpful. And then another common side effect that you may read up on is, again, a drop of motivation. This isn't too common again, but I do hear it from some users. And it doesn't surprise me because at the end of the day, like I mentioned, lion's mane is something that people do help to decrease stress levels, decrease anxiety. Um, if you are to ask about what about taking it with modafinil, You'll find that modafinil, it kind of overpowers lion's mane and makes it such that you don't really feel the lion's mane. That's been my experience when I use modafinil. I don't really get the benefit of lion's mane, so I would much rather save it for other days. But I've talked about modafinil in depth in this video over here, and you'll find some nice nootropics that go well with it. And that's the way which I'm going to end you off. I hope you did find this video helpful. If you did, then comment, subscribe, give this video a like. It's Mike, and I'll look forward to seeing you all next time. Gives you a big energy boost, makes you kind of too awake, and gives you that euphoric feeling, whereas modafinil essentially just kind of fights off any feeling you may have of being sleep deprived. So you're in a good resourceful state throughout the whole day.